We can't escape the paranormal. It happens so often to so many people that maybe it's normal? But what exactly is it? Listen to these next stories and tell me, how can it be normal? The Thing by the Stairs Selby, United Kingdom, 2022 Maria was only a young girl when she had the most terrifying paranormal event in her life. She said that it was something that had stayed with her for a few years now. And, from the sound of things, it literally has stayed with her for the last few years. Maria would spend time between two family homes, and on this occasion, she was staying at her father's house, which was not unusual. She knew the house well, her father had been living there for a while now, and she'd stayed there often. More importantly to her recollection, there was never anything strange that happened in the house, and definitely in nothing paranormal. But suddenly, one day, without warning and without a reason, things changed very quickly. On this particular day, she was at her father's home as usual, and went downstairs to get a drink. She was walking along the corridor to get back upstairs, when a strange feeling started to take over her. She stopped for a second, trying to figure out just what it was. It was truly unsettling. It was as if something in the air itself had changed, and she started to feel the tingling sensation begin to spread all over her body. She experienced a growing sense of something strange, of dread, of something unexplainable. As this uncomfortable feeling seemed to envelop all the air around her, some part of her felt like it was urging her, no, screaming at her to get back up the stairs as fast as she could, or else something horrible might happen to her. She tried to shake it off, and the feeling only faded as she ran up the stairs to get away from that area, and whatever her instincts felt may be coming after her. That was not the only time it happened though, and from that point onwards it happened frequently over the next few months. A terrible, ominous feeling of dread would sometimes overcome her as she was at the bottom of the stairs, and she soon found that she would make a panic dash up the stairs even if she didn't feel that way, just in case. That's how unsettling that horrible feeling was. Then on one terrifying occasion, the same thing happened to her. She experienced that now familiar, uncomfortable feeling, the tingling, the sense of dread as usual. But this time, she looked in terror as she saw something in the hallway as she was running. She described it as a big black thing, and she could not tell if this thing was human or not. Now, whatever it was, had taken a very real and visible form, and it seemed to be the cause of that horrible feeling. She almost felt as if she was being watched by it. She would see the figure more and more frequently as time went on. Each time the feeling would start to creep up on her unexpectedly, and as she turned to run back up the stairs, she would see the black figure standing there. Maria guessed that she had these experiences for about a year where she would see the shape and then just run up the stairs to get away from it. Taking a quick glance at it and then running away up the stairs worked well for her, at least for a while. Then sometime in 2023, she had the same experience yet again. Only this time the black figure started moving towards her as she ran up the stairs. She couldn't help but let out a terrified scream as she noticed it moved towards her for the first time, and she was terrified to go back downstairs or leave her room. Maria reports that it still happens from time to time, and admits that she doesn't know what it is, and what's more, she admits that she can't get rid of it. She doesn't know if it's something sinister, or a deceased loved one, but regardless of what it is, it sounds absolutely terrifying, and she would just like it gone. Hi guys, this show is only made possible by the contributions of true stories from people just like you. If you'd like to share your experience for the show, 
you can contact us by email, details of which are in the description, or directly at the website at www.chillingtruetales.com. Plenty of people at the inn. Whitefield, New Hampshire, United States, 2009. This series of bizarre events happened in New Hampshire, near a place called the Spalding Inn. Some of you may be familiar with it and its reputed history, but I admit I've only recently found out about it. This is where Kara comes into the story. Kara was looking for a place to have a 17th birthday dinner, and her grandfather suggested the Spalding Inn. He was familiar with the food as he was the caretaker of an adjoining property and thought it would be a good location. Kara went to dinner with her grandmother, her grandparents, and two of her uncles, and she had an absolutely amazing time. After an amazing dinner at the restaurant in the hotel, Kara says that they all went to the adjoining property that her grandfather had keys to, as he was its caretaker. They went into the property and looked around, and as they went, they marvelled at the beautiful home. They took their time admiring all the features and the layout of the property. As they were all about to go upstairs, her grandfather said, Watch, when we come down, there will be golf balls everywhere. They thought that this comment was a bit strange, but they went upstairs anyways to look around. They again enjoyed seeing the neat and well-appointed home, and when they headed back downstairs, their grandfather told them to hold on to the handrail as they did. Kara assumed this was just for safety, but the real reason for telling them to hold on was, according to her grandfather, that there was a spirit in the home that liked to push people down the stairs. They all made their way downstairs without any issues, but surely enough, when they got to the bottom of the stairs, there were golf balls everywhere. Kara froze for a moment. Her grandfather had warned her, but this made no sense at all. She found it interesting, yet unsettling. Something did not sit right about what was happening in this place. On the way out of the property, her uncle, who was kind of an empath and sensitive to energies, suddenly stopped in front of a pitch-dark room. He stared in silence for a few moments into the void, and then finally said, I sense a great sorrow coming from this room, and walked off without any further explanation. Thoroughly creeped out by now, Kara went outside onto the front lawn and waited for everyone else to catch up. Soon everyone came out of the empty building and they were talking on the lawn. They were about to part ways for the night and go home when her uncle suddenly told them that there was an admiral watching them from a window on the second floor. They all looked and Kara admits she couldn't see anything at all when she looked up, but at best she could only believe that her uncle saw what he saw. They all finished up saying their goodbyes, and with last birthday wishes for her, she returned to the hotel with her mother. Having enjoyed the evening, Kara and her mother settled down and prepared for bed. There were two separate beds in the same shared room, and they were both very quickly fast asleep. In the middle of the night though, Kara woke up for a reason, but wasn't sure what woke her. She looked around the room, wondering what it was, and finding nothing, lay there in bed and closed her eyes, waiting to fall back asleep. All of a sudden, she experienced what felt like a hand gently pressed down on her ankle through the heavy blanket. She sat up quickly and looked around. There was no one near her feet, there was no breeze coming in through the windows as they were shut, and the fan wasn't on but she was certain that she'd felt the pressure of a hand on her ankle. Kara looked over at her mother, who was still sleeping. She looked around, but couldn't see anything out of the ordinary, but just couldn't explain what had just happened. She eventually fell back asleep, and admits that it was only after she had covered her head under the blankets that she was able to. In the morning, she told her mother about the creepy experience she'd had, and her mother mentioned how she had seen Kara sit up in the middle of the night 
and wondered why she had done so. Kara has never been able to explain just what happened that night. This show is made possible by people like you sharing their real life experiences. So please feel free to contact me. Thanks for joining me on this creepy adventure. Until next time.